Calgary residents are concerned about the rising crime rate in the city. Things have been getting more turbulent lately, causing residents to feel anxious and unsure. We decided to talk to the local community and get a first-hand account of their experiences and thoughts. How would you describe the overall perception of the crime rate in Calgary? At least from what I see on the news, they say that statistically it's not actually much different than other years. However, if you talk to people on the street and just kind of co-workers, I feel like people are feeling a little bit less safe, especially in the winter on the public transit. It's kind of a tough situation, but you know, when it's so cold outside, it's the best place to be if you're someone that's uh, houseless is to be on the public transportation. People are scared. Um, they're scared to ride the C train. They're scared to go downtown. Um, there's been lots of acts of uh, random violence and we've seen people get murdered that didn't even know people that murdered them. One of the first reasons I chose to come here and study here and stay here and work here was that it's perceived to be one of the safest cities. Over the last year, the crime rate has gone up, in my opinion, because I you didn't, you didn't read as many articles about stabbings or shootings or people just going crazy. I think it's, it's, it has gone up. I mean, every now and then I hear about somebody getting stabbed on the, uh, the train or something like that. I guess it's increasing. Uh, I would say it's perceived as very high right now and it's picking up on a daily basis, I guess. And you see more security around, but probably less police. <laughs> I would say it's pretty high in these times, especially after like, uh, I would say 2019 I came here and I've seen a lot of crime incidents. I see more need of police force and special task needs so they can lower the crime rates in the area, especially in the downtown area. Do you feel safe here? More or less, knock on wood. So I don't really feel unsafe, but there are times where I felt intimidated. Let's say a sea train platform and there's a lot of aggressive people around, maybe under the influence. So yeah, I, I can feel intimidated at times. The, the one of the re more recent instances where me and my uh, brother were not feeling very safe were when there was a shooting literally right outside the building on the west end of downtown. That feeling of feeling unsafe has started to creep in in the, in the past few months. Usually I used to go around at like 12.30 or 1 in the morning for a walk or a run sometimes. Now I don't. So that should <laughs> tell you that yes, there is that fear creeping in. In some places I walk, I feel very uncomfortable. I think I'm okay, but I'm concerned for some people out there. Like, I just don't think they, young girls shouldn't be walking, like, through certain, like, underpasses and stuff. There's a lot of weird stuff going on in there. So. I cannot roam alone at the night. I always hang out with my bunch of guys or, you know, in group. After eight or nine, I think there is, like, very less people or crowd hanging out so I feel like it's scary sometimes. Sometimes yeah if I'm with my friend, group of friends and family yeah but not alone especially in the night time. Have you personally experienced or witnessed any crime incidents in Calgary? Yeah a ton because <laughs> working downtown you see a lot of stuff on the LRT stuff or C-Train I guess they call it here like mainly just altercations nothing too major or I also eat lunch in like the core food court and in the winter a lot of times like you know security I always see them like tackling people or chasing people and it's kind of like oh that's interesting yes 100% actually I guess like I just said it wasn't bad but yesterday we watched a road raid accident where a guy tried to stab another guy with a metal pole oh after God. driving recklessly there, there's some more examples we just had a shooting on the bus here where somebody targeted random people on the bus and we've had lots of stabbings with young ladies in the morning walking by themselves yeah I've been randomly um, attacked from people with some mental health disorders and uh, you know I try my best to diffuse it. Personally no but I have had a friend who used to work near specifically at uh, the Walmart um, and he has uh, seen someone badgering somebody else's car and it's it, it became a very heated situation and those two ended up hurting each other pretty bad. Oh, you know what? Just over there, actually, over by that Simon's, there's a store over there. I saw someone trying to steal from there and I think it was like um, like one of those undercover like security people or something, like tackled that person down and then they were having like a little wrestling match over there. But I saw that happen the other day, some shoplifting, not a huge crime. When I was traveling in a bus in Calgary Transit, one of a stranger came uh, a friend with me and showing a knife. Uh, that was one of the incidents that I faced. But it was fine because the bus driver helped me uh, during that situation. One of my roommates, when he was traveling, like he was hanging out near the Peace Bridge. A guy showed up out of nowhere and it was a huge knife, I guess, around uh, seven to eight inches. And 
uh, he show he was trying to shove that knife into him but I, uh, it was a good day for him he ran off where, where people were trying to steal uh, stuff from Home Depot store I was buying stuff there so I saw a person uh, like group of people uh, taking uh, equipment from the store and uh, security was not security guard was not able to stop them what measures do you think could be taken to improve the safety and security the police and security actually intervening because like but here it's kind of like they watch it happen and they're too shy to do anything about it first of all we need all the residents to support our police so that our police can do their job and uh, we need to up our police presence. I think in the recent times due to some funding issues that the police department is facing, they haven't been able to push themselves or the resources at their disposal to do their best. We could hire some like bodyguards just to come around and just chill out night and then make sure everybody's safe, you know. It just comes down to the economy. Uh, we're being subjected to very high prices like you know everything you do is costing more and that's forcing a lot of people onto the streets that creates higher crime rates and people are just desperate to uh, to make ends meet I would say more police forces in the nearby areas especially in the areas where we have houses and homes and also I see people uh, police catch the peop uh, crime people but they let them go after some time that's not what they should do I would say they should put some charges and fines onto them so they don't, don't uh, repeat the crimes after that.